In this video, we will learn how to use the NMCLI command in RHCSA or RHCE exam without learning or memorizing any options and parameters. The NMCLI command is one of the most complex commands on Linux. Learning and using this command is not an easy task if you don't know how to use manual pages. But if you know how to use manual pages, then using this command is not a difficult task for you. The manual pages for this command include everything you need to learn and use this command. To open the manual pages, use this command. The NMCLI command usage is this syntax. It has three parts, option, section, and action. Options are optional. They allow us to control the default behavior of the command. You can use them to modify the output in such a way that it only displays the required information in the desired format. To use the NMCLI command, you don't need to memorize any option. All options of the NMCLI command are described here. If you want to know which option does what or which option you should use to get the desired result, you can use the manual pages. After the option, the syntax has the section. The NMCLI command organizes its parameters into eight sections. These sections are help, general, networking, radio, connection, device, agent, and monitor. These sections provide hundreds of options and parameters to control various accepts of networking. Based on your requirement, you can use any section. For RHCSA or RHCE exam, we only need to focus on the device and connection sections. The device section includes parameters to control and manage network devices while the connection section includes parameters to create, control and manage connections. For RHCSA or RHCE exam, we need to learn how to check the current status of network devices and manage their connections. This manual page includes all the necessary commands for these requirements. If you need more examples or want to work with other sections, you can check the additional manual which includes many advanced examples. To view these examples, you can use this command. As you can see here, it includes many sample commands with output. You can pick and use any command that meets your requirement. These manuals include many examples and detailed descriptions of each option and parameter. If you have these manuals, you do not need to memorize anything to use the NMCLI command. Since we only need to work with the device and connection sections, we don't need these advanced examples. Let's close this example manual and use the main manual to practice our exam topics. The NMCLI command is part of the Network Manager package. Network Manager provides the default network service on Linux. To know whether the Network Manager service is running or not, we can use this command. As we can see here, the Network Manager service is running. On Linux, the system CTL service controls other services. Let's stop the Network Manager service and check again. As we can see here, the network manager service is not running now. Let's start the service and check the status again. You can also use this command to check the overall status of the network manager service. If the network manager service is running, we can use the NMCLI command to manage network devices. To check the current status of network devices, we use this command. This is the device name. This is the type of device. This is the current status of the device. This is the name of the connection this device is currently using to connect the network. 
In short, the device ENS160 is using the connection ENS160 to connect the network. The type of the device is Ethernet and it is currently connected to the network. The manual page includes many other examples with detailed descriptions for the device section. We don't need them for RHCSA or RHCE exam. If you want to manage or change the state of a device, you can use them. Now let's move to our main section. For RHCSA or RHCE exam, you mainly need to focus on the connection section. As mentioned earlier, a connection is a collection of settings that an interface uses to connect to the network. An interface can have multiple connections but can use only one connection at a time. For RHCSA or RHCE exam, we need to learn how to add new connections and manage existing connections. To view a list of all connections, we use the show option with the NMCLI connection command. In the output, this is the name of the connection. This is the unique ID of the connection. This is the type of interface for which this connection can be used. This is the name of the interface which is currently using this connection. By default, this command lists all connections. To view a list of only active connections, use the active option. To view all settings of a connection, we need to specify the name of the connection. These are the configuration directives or settings. These are the configured values. There is a long list of settings. We don't need to learn or remember all of these. We only need to understand and learn a few important settings. We will discuss them later in this video. Just like the commands that we have discussed, the manual page includes an example command for every topic that we need to practice for the RHCSA or RHCE exam. For RHCSA or RHCE exam, you don't need to memorize any option or parameter of the NMCLI command. All you need to do is open the manual page of the NMCLI command, pick the example command, change the name of the connection or device and use it. Let's add and manage a new connection by using the examples given on the manual page. To explain this exercise, I need more workspace. For this, I am closing this terminal. All commands of this exercise are available on the manual page. To add a new connection, we use the Add option. After the Add option, we need to specify a name for the connection. After the name, specify the type and name of the interface. Finally, if you want to configure any connection setting, you can do it here. Let's set the IP configuration method to auto. This command creates a new connection named ETH1 and assigns the connection to the ETH1 interface. This connection will receive an IP address from the DHCP server. To verify the connection, we can list all connections again. When we add a new connection, the NMCLI command creates a new file in the network script directory. It uses the connection name as the file name with the FCFG suffix. It saves all configuration settings in this file. There are multiple ways to edit a connection configuration file. You can directly edit it by using a text editor or can use a network management tool. You can also use the NMCLI command to edit this file. To update this file by using the NMCLI command, we use the Modify option. This command changes the IP configuration type to Manual from DHCP, assigns IP address 10.0.0.10. and sets the default gateway to 10.0.0.1. 
To verify the change, we can view the configuration file again. As we can see here, the file has been updated. You can also view and change the value of a single directive. To view the value of a single directive, we use the egrep command. As we can see here, the current status of the on-boot directive is set to yes. The on-boot directive controls the boot time behavior of the connection. The boot process will start this connection at the boot time only if you set its value to yes. The name of this directive in the setting is connection.autoconnect. Set it to no. Let's print the setting again. Here we can see, the value of the directive has been updated. The nmcli command also offers an interactive editor to edit a connection. To use this editor, specify the connection name after the edit option. You can use the help option to list all available options and their usage. To print the configured value of a directive, use the print option. To change the value of a directive, use the set option. To save the change, use the save option. Use the quit option to exit. You can also view the connection file to verify the changes. As I mentioned earlier, an interface can have multiple connections but can use only one connection at a time. It uses only the active connection. To set a connection active, use the up option. When activating a connection, you may get this error. Connection activation failed. No suitable device was found for this connection. This error indicates that we are activating a connection that was created for an interface that is not available on the system. We can fix this error by updating the interface name in the connection setting. To view all configured settings of a connection, we use the show option. We can use the grep command to filter the output and view only the name of the interface. To update the name, we can use the modify option. Let's verify the change. Now, activate the connection again. When we activate a new connection, the existing connection becomes inactive. As we can see here, the ENS160 interface is using this connection now. Let's activate the default connection again. To view only active connections, we can use the active option. An interface reads the connection file only when it starts. It does not monitor the changes to the connection file. If you make any change to a connection file, you need to update the interface about the change manually. For example, currently, this interface is using the IP address 192.168.0.100. Let's check which connection this interface is using. As we can see here, this interface is using the ENS160 connection. Now, update the IP address of this connection. Verify the change. As we can see here, the IP address has been changed on the connection configuration file. Now, check the configured IP address on the interface again. As we can see here, the interface is still using the old IP address. An interface does not monitor the changes to the connection file. It reads the connection file only once. To force an interface to use the updated connection file, we need to remove the current connection from the interface. To remove an active connection, we use the down option. After removing the current connection, 
we need to attach the updated connection again. To attach a new or updated connection, we use the up command. Now, check the IP address again. As we can see here, now the interface is using the new IP address. You can also delete unnecessary connections. To delete a connection, we use the delete option. Let's delete this connection. Use the delete option and specify the connection name. List all connections again. As we can see here, the connection has been deleted. That's all for this video. In this video, we learned how to use the NMCLI command in RHCSA or RHCE exam. If you have any comments, feedback, or suggestions related to this video, please share them in the comment box given below.